Hey peeps, it's Andy Kuhn with FCproducer.com. Thanks for checking out part two of Media Manager. This time we're going to archive and delete footage that you did not use in your project. And this could be very useful for huge, uh, for huge documentaries or anything else that you shoot, especially reality TV. You have so much footage and it's just eating up your hard drive space and you're like, enough. You know, I, I need some space. So here's what you do. You come into your project. You want to click in the browser. So I want to click here. Go into File. Go down to Media Manager. And Media Manager pops up. So right now, original, it's 9.3 gigabytes of footage. Now what I want to do is I want to copy my media over to another, uh, over to another hard drive. Uh, include render files? Yes. I want to delete unused media from duplicated items. That's why it's 5 gigabytes right now. Otherwise, if I copy everything, it's going to be 9.3 gigabytes. So make sure, and see, if you turn that off, it goes to 9.3. So you want to click on that, delete unused media. You can use handles, but I'm not. Uh, base media, on blah, blah, blah. Everything looks good. Make sure you have that in mind. If you need to refer this, come back and check that. So now I have to find a destination where I want to copy everything. I'm going to go over to my other hard drive. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it com for commercial. And I'm going to select that folder. Now I hit OK. Now I have to name the project because it's going to take all this footage and it's going to name it an own project. So I'm going to call it Mary Got To. And click Save. And now it's going to go and process the files. All right, so now all the files are, have been downloaded and reconnected. <laughs> Now I named it the same file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close both tabs. I'm going to save them. Yes, both of them. And now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the one in the location where I saved it. So I'm going to go open and go to road. Um, there's com and arigato. Now see in here, you'll see media and render files. These are all the media files. That's how it moves. It, it, it sorts it, puts it in a folder. Um, where all the media files can be found and puts all the QuickTime files and then any other kind of files which I had a couple of PNG and an AIFF file. So it puts it all in one folder so that this file can locate it all and it's right there in the render files as well. So I'm going to open up that Arigato and just double check to make sure that everything is connected and in place. So um, let's see. I'm going to go down and double click on that one. And let's go through it real quick. Looks like everything's there. Everything is there, and I saved myself four gigabytes. But that's only a 30, no, that's a minute spot commercial. So imagine if you're working on an hour and a half documentary when you have tons and tons of footage to, to go through, and you just download everything, and you want to sort it out uh, as you're looking through it to mark which clips you like, and you have all that storage. So that's one way you can cut down on a lot of space and free up some stuff, move it around, archive it, and put this hard drive out of reach. Just put it on the shelf and wait for it to die somewhere. Anyway, that's the Media Manager. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope it's useful for you in the future. Good luck and have fun editing. <laughs> yeah, right.